How you doing? My name is Barry Fitzpatrick. We're down here in Chicago, Illinois. We're redoing what's called the Lower Wacker Project. Uh, I'm a crane operator. I have a certification. Uh, it's called OECP. That's Operating Engineer Certification Program. My name is Michelle Halley Stern. I am an architect and sustainability specialist at Perkins and Will. I've been a LEED accredited professional since 2001. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and is at currently the gold standard rating system for green buildings. My name is Jean Martinez and I am the quality specialist for the home hospice program at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. I have been certified as a hospice and palliative nurse, CHPN, since 1999. I was a regular architect when I, before I got my credential and this was really before LEED was even in the picture for anyone and really got inspired by really a serendipitous event of a magazine coming across my desk that really sparked my interest in regenerative development, sustainability, and went back and got my master's degree in environmental and occupational health sciences. This was well before we had sustainability degrees that people could go into architecture and just do sustainability. So I was able to find a job at an architecture firm that was thinking forward that sustainability really was important and developed a green building sustainability program from the ground up at that firm. Even in this economic downturn, with the projects that we do get almost always ask for green building and lead in particular. It's, it's not so much a market differentiator anymore as much as a requirement. You, you need to have this credential for to show your credibility in, in green design. I was always a, an oncology nurse, so I worked with oncology patients. I started with inpatients and then I was an outpatient chemotherapy nurse and then went into hospice from there. Our certification came into being at, in 1996 and I've been around enough that actually I've participated in the development of our specialty in nursing. At the time, I probably would have continued on the same path that I was on, but as things developed, I think in nursing, we're all specialists, pretty much, and we really need that certification for uh, credibility that we are experts in our field, and I wanted to be an expert in the field. I do think that all of us, all of the, our colleagues that we work with in, in, in hospice, it's a very much an interdisciplinary team. They do understand certification. Certainly physicians do, administrators do. Uh, as I said, I believe the public is beginning to understand you know, that it's important. So I feel that particularly in my position, and I've had education positions and administrative positions, if you have any kind of leadership position, it's essential. But also, if you're working with patients and families, I feel that it's essential. Certification really defines nursing specialty. And, you know, we develop nursing specialties in a variety of ways, but it's not until I believe that you have a, a national certification that really validates your specialty. Well, I was always, I've been uh, operating equipment for an, um, a lot of years, and uh, I became a crane operator and when I heard that this uh, operating engineer certification program was going to be mandated uh, 2014, uh, I figured that would be something that would be good for me, it would look good on my, you know, my log book to have in my back pocket. So I'm hoping you know, down the road it's always going to be good for me whether where I go or what I have to do. Uh, you know, it just looks good that I, was, I went and did the training and have that certification. When you go and, and get certified in, in, any, in anything, you're showing somebody that uh, you are more knowledgeable or you know you know a little bit more about than just anybody who jumps in the seat. Uh, it's way more safe that if somebody wants to have a, a welding job done, they want a certified welder. So if it, the, you know you can make yourself a lot more employable and in demand the more training you get and the more knowledge you have under your belt. I think you guys are doing a, a wonderful service for all of us that have achieved our credentials. What you're doing here and especially learning from each other is going to be really important and I think it's uh, great that you're all here.